You know what? Kind of a weird day. Just uh, going on in Ontario right now. We're in a traffic jam and start of what is being called a blizzard tonight. Uh, weird weather coming up. It is going to snow pretty hard all night and then switch to rain at uh, 12 31 o'clock in the morning. And it's supposed to rain till 6 30 or 7. I have no idea how Joe Stutzman is going to have the track good tomorrow. He's been very good at it all year. Tomorrow, that would be impressive. If we get to the farm tomorrow and we're, and we're able to train the two-year-olds and three-year-olds, I will be impressed. And now he has impressed me a couple of times this year already, but we'll see. It's this, that will be impressive. So Ollie and I are on our way um, up. Now Oliver must get it for his mom, from his mom, I don't know. But Oliver was chosen uh, to speak on behalf of his class in front of the whole school about, what's your topic? The Concord. The Concord. The British and France plane. The British and France plane. I, I, I can go twice the speed of sound. Twice the speed of sound? Thank you. So, uh, Ollie, I'm going to take him up and get him some dress shoes, get him some nice clothes to wear to speak in front of everyone, which he didn't want to do, but uh, that's the way it is. And I got him a haircut too. He knows the rule if I can grab your hair, then it's too long. So, Ollie got a haircut today also. So, um, not a whole lot going on today. More of a few things to report. Um, My speech got moved to... Uh, until Thursday. Yeah, your speech is on Thursday now. Um, really just a few things. Uh, the timing of everything. Uh, I'd spoken to Joe, my partner on White Tiger, and a number of other people wondering where are we going to race them, when are we going to race them now. Um, March 4th is the start of the new Holland series and White Tiger is not quite going to be ready for that. Now I only entered White Tiger, Resolute Bay and Renegade Gypsy in that series in case they got ready and there was nowhere to race them and that's still still a very real possibility. So the first lag of the new Holland is on Monday. You're going to see Walt Lugcatelli and HP Mama B and I think uh, Jimmy said about 20 horses were entered in that series. I think he said 20 if I'm not mistaken. The speed limit is six times faster than this. Mm -hmm. No, it's not six times. You're not very good at math. Five times. No, less than four. Thanks for coming out. What do you mean? I'm doing 20 and the speed limit's 70. Let's try three and a half times. Yeah. A little, little brush up with the math might help, but... So I didn't... Uh, shh, stop. Um, so I didn't... Um, I didn't just enter the horses. Um, like Locatelli, I believe, is, is our New Holland horse, but... If those other three horses need starts uh, in the second leg, third leg, fourth leg, then so be it. Then we're going to enter them there. And if we erase them all there, I guess, once or twice, there's a chance of a consolation, I guess. But that would mean everybody would have to enter in the New Holland, have 10 in the final and 10 in the consolation. That's unlikely. Um, but White Tiger is going to qualify on Friday. So for Joe and all my partners with White Tiger, uh, you're going to see him in to qualify on Friday. Not race Monday in the first leg. I'm not really worried about the first leg. And he doesn't fit... He fits lower than that, I believe, but um, we all know that story, right? We all know that fitting lower than that really may not help, and he may end up just racing in the second leg of the new hall in any way. So that's what we're doing with, uh, with White Tiger. Um, unbeatable Kemp is going to uh, qualify on Friday also, and then he'll begin racing right away. Um, Gandalf the Black and Horn Player are going to... One of my favorite horses. Who's that? Gandalf. Well, he looked good the other day. Apparently, I was told he looked very... I think Dominic sandbagged me a little bit. I think he was he was holding back how good Gandalf actually looked the other day. I got a, a bird's eye view, a report from someone else that was there that said Gandalf the Black looked exceptionally good training. Horn player was good also. Danny O'Brien was a horn he's player. He's second favorite behind Kemp. Who? Unbeatable Kemp. Yeah, Unbeatable Kemp's going to race on... Uh, going to qualify on Friday. After all that time, he should be fine. He is. He's better now. So we also put some medication in his knee that should help him. So he was sound uh, the other day. He was great today jogging. So all indicators point to Unbeatable Kemp qualifying Friday and racing shortly thereafter. Stay close. We'll begin slowly. I believe the plan is to slowly train him this week. Uh, train him a couple of more times next week. And then um, see the surgeon one more time, the, the eye specialist one more time. And that, at that point, he should have a green light to start racing. Um, she usually deals with dressage horses and hunter jumpers so uh, her her understanding of the standard bird breed is not the same it's great to have Melissa Dr. McKee there to explain you know how things are and, and um, uh, man the horse looks great and he's put on weight so I guess 
we do have a silver lining in this time off from stay close one he's been jogging the last two and a half three weeks so he is relatively tight but most importantly he's put weight on which is so so important for this horse so um um stay close will begin training first slow mile will likely be towards the end of the week but he has looked very 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 good both his eye is coming great and uh the horse looks physically looks very good himself um, White Tiger and Unbeatable Camp will qualify Friday. Schooling Friday will be Horn Player and Gandalf the Black. As I said, Locatelli will race next Monday. This may be the last start for uh, for for a little while. For uh, looks like money, I can only imagine if he wins tonight. It and even though with uh, with that series filling next week, it's going to be hard uh, to fill a class for looks like money now. Um, I know that Boney Hall has too much money made to fit in the in the New Holland series, so does Pikachu Hanover. So those horses, no, we those horses um, may need starts also. But I'm not really that interested in continuing to race. Looks like money much further. I think we rest them through March, train them back April, first part of May. We'll get to have two starts into them probably before the graduate comes to Ontario, which first start is in Ontario, the next two, and the final, I believe, are at the Meadowlands. So it uh, looks like money. Um, it's almost about that time where we're going to turn him out. We'll see how it plays out tonight and again uh, next week. If he hadn't been in tonight, he would have been out in the field um, Thursday morning. Now, uh, a little more of a, a bigger update is J.K. Victory. Um, I talked to Ron Burke. I, I, you know, I called him and spoke to him, and he said, yeah, I'll text you back later, and he didn't. I texted him this morning, and I said, listen, Ron, I don't mean to, I don't mean to rush you, but um, I have, uh, I don't, stop. I don't mean to rush you, but um, there's a truck leaving for New Jersey tomorrow. Uh, what's your take on, on the victory horse? He said, Anthony, I just, I looked through our entire roster, and I'm just worried with Indiana not open yet that there's going to be a conflict with horses that we own like Burke Stable Racing and uh, Weaver Buscemi and, and all his owners and that wouldn't be fair to them and it wouldn't be fair to you to say send the horse and then have him miss time because we had other horses in there I just think as I said it, the timing isn't good for me to take the horse right now but I really really like the horse so I just talked to him for a little bit about what his thoughts were my other option and, and I, I'm not going to hesitate to use it but I don't want to just ship an issue just kick an issue down the road especially an expensive one like this guy so I would rather, I guess deep down, I would rather have him, um, I'd rather have one more crack at him, knowing that his hobbles might have been a little long, knowing that we probably need to make a shoeing change, knowing that we probably need to make some equipment adjustments. Can they help him? Can we get this horse through here in Ontario? I'm torn. You guys know I was very upfront with everybody last week about my my uh, hesitation about this, my trepidation when it came to when it came to. Um, JK Victory, I don't want to start changing a bunch of stuff and then say, well, that didn't work. Now you're looking at regression and that can be a real problem. Plus, we just don't want to continue to not race them, right? But this horse is supposed to be raced twice now. So I had a, a group chat. Uh, I talked to Harry and James a little bit about the horse. We did, uh, I, I took in what James was saying about how the, how the schooler went. I saw it with my eyes, but not sitting behind the horse is not the same. So, um, from what Harry said, you know, he burnt behind in the hobbles, which means the hobbles are probably a little bit long. A lot of horses will burn a little bit here and there. It's not a big deal. Um, the issue with his right front and right hind. Right hind is, has been there forever, and he's not really over on the left shaft. So, he believes that right hind is just from taking a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit extra weight. Um, and he's not too worried about the right hind. We can wear a gating strap and work on that right hind ankle. The right front... Like shoe shoe, yes, super. Um, the right front is the the issue at hand. It's not a lameness issue. It's discomfort. Now, if this was just a run of the mill horse, I would say, hey, you know, just put the flip flops on. Maybe you'd be fine. Don't worry about him. And obviously, there's a lot at stake here. A lot more at stake and a lot less room for um, error. Ollie, just wait, sweet. Come on, just wait a second. A lot less room for error. So. Um, my options were two. Send Megan the horse as is and just hope that Megan and Scott can, you know, put the horse at the metal ends and poof, and magically the horse is amazing all of a sudden. Or take one last look at the horse. You know, I just felt like when we were sending the horse to Ronnie, he knows the horse. He's had the horse for an entire year. 
raced him in stake races, raced him tons and tons of times. He knows him. I don't need to explain to him about JK Victory. But giving the horse to another trainer that's never seen him before, I just felt that that was maybe unfair. Uh, there's always the option to send the horse back to Nancy. Um, but when it comes to this particular horse in this particular instance, I got the feeling that Harry and James felt that uh, we will put the flip-flops on him, see if he can go with those on, pull his hobbles in a couple of holes, tinker with his headgear just a tiny little bit, and uh, and see if that works. See if that works. So that's what we're going to do this week. We are going to school him Friday, make no mistake. Uh, I suspect the horse will be infinitely better on Friday. Uh, if he is better to the point where he schools in 52 or 53, then I think we can collectively, uh, all of us, James, Harry, uh, myself, and everybody watching this video, uh, make the decision that, yes, he'll be entered in to go immediately at Mohawk. If he's not at that point, we're like, all right, he's just not quite comfortable in that last turn at Mohawk, fine. At that point, we can send the horse to, uh, to Megan in, uh, in New Jersey. So that's the plan. I know uh, it's certainly not perfect, but nothing in this industry is but it is worth getting right. And I wanna make sure we get this right with this horse. So never without a little bit of controversy, but not the end of the world. The horse jog great, he was sound as a dollar today. Stop. The horse jog great, he was, he was awesome today. Um, just wanna get him, as we start to get all our sophomores qualifying and going and ready to go, um, I just wanna make sure that we have JK victory proper and square. So that's the plan for everybody. Him, Locatelli, White Tiger, the unbeatable Kemp, uh, Gandalf the Black, Horn Player, all those horses are going to be on the move this Friday, either officially or unofficially, uh, in one capacity or the other. They will be. So a big update coming this Friday from me. So for today, we got Looks Like Money tonight. It is a blizzard, but we do have Looks Like Money racing tonight. Uh, good luck to everybody with the Looks Like Money group. Um, I'm going to be heading over to Northfield again tomorrow. Hopefully we can get that training set in tomorrow. That, as I said, nothing short of a miracle for tomorrow to be training training ready, the track. But Joe Stutzman seems to have a real good handle on his track. So we'll see if we can get all the trainers done tomorrow. I'm going to be finishing off the sets and getting the training sets done for Ohio on Wednesday. Um, and if the weather looks good, we might even bring you a video from uh, from Ohio Wednesday. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go in and get Ollie a pair of nice shoes. And some nice... Uh, from Schuper. From Schuper. And then I'm going to get you... Uh, There's uh, more sound. Yeah, across the road. We're going to see if we can get you some clothes also. And I will talk to everybody real, real soon. Hope you had a great start to your week. Pretty good start to our week right now already here in Ontario. Take care.